Today I'll teach you how to use the Midjourney neural network. By watching this video and practicing, you will learn how to generate amazing images just by describing the desired outcome. Additionally, as a bonus, I'll tell you about useful websites that will help you create even better images. So watch this video until the end. In Midjourney, you can create art, logos, backgrounds, textures, design project references, websites, characters, and more. For example, here are some cool works that people have already created in Midjourney. By the way, some people make money with this. Do you want to figure it out too? Then let's get started right away. To begin with, we need to register on this card, as we will be generating images there. Go to the website discord.com, where you can download it for Windows or open it in a browser. We will use browser version, click on login since we don't have an account, then click register. Enter your email, username, password and date of birth. Check the checkbox and click continue. Confirm that I am human. That's it, now we have an account on Discord. Now go to the website midjourney.com and click on the join the beta button. Then accept invite. It registers us through Discord, so wait a bit. That's it, we are ready. On the left side the midjourney logo has been added. Here we also see newcomer rooms with different numbers. Let's open for example the room newbies29. Some people are already generating images for themselves here. We can't do that yet because our email is not verified. We need to verify our email. If for some reason the verification email didn't arrive in our email, click resend verification email and it will be sent to us again. An email arrived with a Discord verification message. We click on verify email, that's it, the email is confirmed. Now let's set up our Discord account. Click on this icon, user settings. By clicking here, we can change the name or, for example, change the icon. So let's set up my avatar. Click apply and here you can also change the profile theme, profile banner or set an animated banner. For now, let's stop at that. Click save changes. Now I'll show you how to access Midjourney once we are registered. Go to the Midjourney website, click sign in and on the open page, click authorize. Here on the main page, our account will display the images we have generated. To start using Midjourney, you have to subscribe. Click View Plans. There are no more free plans, only paid ones. At the time of recording this video, the prices for an annual subscriptions are as follows. But it's best to start with a monthly payment. Here the basic plan costs $10 per month. And by paying for it, we will be able to generate approximately 200 images and have three concurrent fast jobs. There are two modes of image generation, fast and slow. In the standard plan, which costs $30, there are unlimited relaxed generations and 15 hours of fast generations. In the pro plan, which costs $60, there are also unlimited relaxed generations and 30 hours of fast work. For testing purposes, let's choose the basic plan for $10. To make the payment, you need to enter your email, card information, name on the card, fill in the billing address, agree here, and click the subscribe button. After making the payment, we return to Discord. Select the room on the left, for example, this one, newbies 108, but you can choose any other room. Scroll down, place the cursor and tooltips will appear. Click on this tooltip slash imagine prompt and then enter what we want to generate. For example, world in 2023. Now we need to wait a bit. While we wait, we can see other people's works. And here our image generation has started. Here we can see the progress percentage of the image generations and wait for it to complete. The image has been generated. Now we have four variations of it and four buttons at the bottom. What can we do with them? Click on the image, then click open in browser, zoom in and examine the variations. We have seen them and now let's go back. Below the image there are buttons. The numbers represent the image number. The U values allow us to generate individual images in higher quality. In other words, we can select a specific image, open it fully and save it in higher resolution on our computer. Let's click on U1. The view values allow us to create variations with slight differences based on a specific image. Let's also click on V1. There is also a refresh option, those arrows, that allows us to generate new four variations. The first image is ready. Let's open it and save it in our computer. We also clicked on V1 and here is the image with four more variations and slight differences. For example, some variations may have more people. Well, here are some other generated variations. In this room, it's a bit inconvenient to generate images because there are many participants and other images come up, causing our own works to get lost. Therefore, here you can click on threads 
and select a room where the last messages were a while ago. For example, here 22 hours ago or 3 days ago. Let's choose this one. This way it might be easier and our works won't get lost. And now I'll tell you how to compose a prompt correctly. Generating a prompt. A prompt is a hint for the neural network describing what you want to receive. The more detailed the description, the better the result will be. If the description is short and lacks specifics, you will get more unexpected results. The order of words in the prompt is very important. For example, with the queries dog hot and hot dog, you will get different results. The correct order for prompts is main object, details, background, style, parameters. To separate prompts, use commas or double columns. This way, Midjourney will understand your request more accurately. Style. By default, Midjourney uses its signature style. But you can specify a different style. Anime, cyberpunk or the name of an artist like Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. You can also specify the style of Pixar, Disney, Marvel, etc. Let's consider several interesting examples of ready prompts. Realism. To create images in a realistic style at prompts like ultra-realistic, 8K, photorealistic, cinematic. Enter slash imagine prompt girl red hair, red eyes, nature in the background, ultra-realistic, 8K, photorealistic, cinematic. These are the generated options. This one is closer to ultra-realism. Let's make this image in the best quality. Press U2. We can also add lighting and the images will become much better. To do this, you can use the following prompts. Cinematic lighting, volumetric lighting. You can also specify the color of the lighting. For example, purple lighting. Let's add the previous description and also include a lighting description. Wait a moment and see the result. An image with lighting. Among these options, the second one is the most suitable. We can upscale and improve the other variations as well. Additionally, in the description, you can also specify different styles such as anime. Anime. Enter slash imagine prompt anime character Japanese style anime art illustration linear anime art 2D art and we see these options we can also improve them let's also consider the options with 3D for example a metallic apple in the hand of a robot enter the prompt 3D render digital 3D Unreal Engine VFX made in Blender here is the result. It turned out to be slightly different from what I expected. Let's remove the words in the hand of a robot and try to generate just a metallic apple. This is how the neural network sees the metallic apple. We can also generate an apple variant or some other variations with a metallic apple. Here are the options we have. And here are a few more. In other words, as you understood, it is necessary to be as specific as possible and provide details so that Midjourney can create exactly what we need. Let's also create another image in retro style. Old car, near the mall, retro style, 80s style, DVD screen grab, 1980s cinema. In prompts, you can specify years, historical periods. These are the results we obtained. We can also improve one of the options. Parameters. Now let's go over the parameters. The complete list of parameters can be found on the official Midjourney website. But here I will provide examples of the most important and interesting settings. All parameters are specified at the end of the prompt. Starting with a double dash, followed by the name, and in some cases a numerical value separated by a space. Aspect ratio. By default the aspect ratio is set to 1 colon 1, which means square images. However, you can generate vertical and horizontal images as well. To do this add R3 colon 2. For horizontal or R2 colon 3 for vertical at the end. The numbers here are arbitrary. You can use other values as well, such as 12 colon 7. The important thing is the ratio itself. Let's generate several images of an astronaut in space with different aspect ratios. Here are a few options horizontal and vertical formats. Negative prompts. The no parameter allows excluding any objects in the final image. Image processing. Now I'll show you how to process your photo using Midjourney. You can take any image and the neural network will process in the desired style. For example, you can get your photo or someone else's photo processed in an artistic or comic style. To do this, we need a direct link to the image. First, let's upload the image. Click on plus and then upload the file. To upload the image from your computer, send the image. Now open the image in a new tab 
right click on it and select copy image address. Next type slash imagine and pass the link into the field right after prompt. Then add prompts. For example, cyberpunk, keyon, future, art. Here is the first option, but let's generate some more variations. Image blending. We can also blend images together. Here you use two images and the neural network generates something in between. Type slash blend in the field, upload the first image, an image of Iron Man, and then upload the second image, a photo of your favorite kitten. Press enter. Here are the results we obtained. You can choose one of the preferred options. Image quality. The parameter Q indicates the time scale of the neural network you are using. Q0.25 is four times faster, cheaper and less detailed. Q0.5 is twice as fast, less detailed. Q1 is the default value and doesn't need to be specified. Q2 is twice as slow, more expensive and more detailed. It is important to note that the quality parameter does not guarantee something beautiful. Now I'll show you what I mean by quality. Let's generate a glass of water on the table with different qualities. Here are versions with quality 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1 and 2. Nuances. There are some nuances that the neural network currently struggles with, such as extremities, hands, legs, fingers, and problems arise when generating a large number of people. These aspects need to be taken into account. Useful websites. We have already familiarized ourselves with the main aspects of working in Midjourney. And now as a bonus I'll show you a few cool websites that will make your work easier. The first one is prompt.nunshot.com. This website will help you find a prompt for your specific query. For example, we want to create a portrait of a girl. We write portrait of a girl at the top, open the style tab and choose the style you like the most, for example, cyberpunk. Then choose the lighting. I'll go with the neon lamp. Continue with the other options accordingly. And for the camera, I'll choose DSLR. If the sum options are not important, leave them unselected. I'll choose a few colors and leave the rest as it is. Now click on copy prompt and paste it in the mid-journey chat. Here is what I came up with. The second website is promptthero.com. This website is more for inspiration. Click on the mid-journey tab and you'll see a gallery with the community's best new works. You can open the ones you like and see the prompts that were used. You can copy these prompts and write exactly what you wanted. Let's try another example. For instance, let's take this prompt, paste it and let's edit it according to our needs. For example, let's change fox to cat. And we got a similar result in style but with a ginger cat. Let's add a smiley face. These are the variations we got. I like this one in particular. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if the video was helpful to you. And watch this video.